Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 4. Write a Python program to calculate the amount payable if money has been lent on simple interest. Principal or money lent is equal to P. Rate of interest is equal to R percentage per annum and time is equal to T years. Then simple interest SI is equal to P into T into R divided by 100. Amount payable is equal to principal plus SI, PR and TR given as input to the program. So here P, R, T are the variables and values for this is to be taken from the user. So let us write the program. P is equal to here I'm going to take the data type as float. Here floating point type of data is real number. And inside the round bracket I'm going to write input and we will ask the user to enter the principal amount. Here I'm going to write enter the principal amount and the double quotation mark and close the bracket now i'm going to take t again float type of data and input function and in this we will ask the user to enter the time so time duration is always in terms of years so close the bracket next r is equal to again we will take float type of data and inside the bracket we will use input and in a double quotation mark we will ask the user to enter the rate of interest and the double quotation mark and close the bracket now it's time to calculate simple interest i'll take the variable called si here we have already given the formula to calculate the simple interest p into t into r divided by 100 in computers we are going to write into asterisk symbol so p asterisk symbol t asterisk symbol r that is p into t into r divided by can be used as forward slash 100 now we will calculate amount payable i'll take one variable called amount is equal to principal plus SI. So principal amount here it is P plus simple interest is SI. So principal amount plus SI together gives me the amount payable. Now let us print the value stored in SI and amount. Here I'm going to use the print statement. Inside the print, I'm going to write in a double quotation mark simple interest is equal to. And the double quotation mark put comma and here we will write the variable si next we will print amount payable in a double quotation mark i'll write amount payable is equal to and the double quotation mark put comma and amount is the variable close the bracket now let us check out the output of this program once we execute this program, it will ask the user to enter the principal amount. Here, it will be printed as enter the principal amount. For example, I am going to enter 100 rupees. Next, it will ask the user to enter the time. Here I am going to write 2 years. Next, it will ask the user to enter the rate of interest. Now I am going to write 5% for example. Now it is going to calculate SI using this formula. SI is equal to P into T into R. So here principal amount P is 100 into time duration which is 2 and r is rate of interest which is 5 divided by 100 now you can simplify this 100 and this 100 will get cancelled 2 5s are 10 so 10 will be the simple interest next we will calculate amount payable here i am going to write amount is equal to p plus si so here principal amount is what 100 rupees plus simple interest is what 10 total so become 110 and we are 
printing simple interest and amount payable here simple interest will be printed as simple interest is equal to so si is holding value 10 next print statement will print amount payable is equal to so here amount is holding 110 rupees now it's time to execute this program let us execute and check out the result we have come here in a vs code let us click on new file and here i'm going to uh, type lab 4 dot py and press enter now i'm going to write p is equal to here we'll use float and inside of the round bracket i'm going to write input and inside of the round bracket in a double quotation mark i'll ask the user to enter the principal amount next we will take time duration t is equal to we will take floating type of data and inside of the bracket we will write input and inside of the round bracket we will ask the user to enter the time next r is equal to float and inside of the round bracket we will use input function and inside of this round bracket in a double quotation mark we will ask the user to enter the rate of interest now i'm going to fast forward this uh, video so that we can save our time now uh, it's time to save this file by pressing ctrl s and let us execute uh, this program go to run start debugging and click on python debugger click on python file debug the currently active python file here at the bottom in a terminal you can uh, check out the output here it is asking the user to enter the principal amount for example here i'm going to enter 100 and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the time now i'm going to enter 2 and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the rate of interest here rate of interest i'm going to take 5 and press enter now you can check out simple interest is equal to 10 rupees and amount payable is equal to 110 rupees i hope you understood this program if yes please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video